Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Welcome to another episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host Jed, and on today's episode, we're going to take a look at a new app by Filmic Pro called Double Take. For those of you unfamiliar with this app, what it allows you to do is use multiple cameras on your phone simultaneously. So if you have a phone like my iPhone 11 Pro with four cameras, you can currently use up to two of them at the same time. Oh, this will be good. Hi. Oh, hey, Jedi TV land. And as I understand it, eventually they will make it so that you can record on all four cameras at the same time. So the reason I'm excited about this app is that I often use multiple cameras when filming cowboy action shooting. And then I have to sync those cameras together in the editing room. But with double take, the clips would already be synced and that would save me a little bit of time in the editing process. Now, like I said, you can currently only use two of the cameras on your phone simultaneously. So I thought it'd be fun to take this new app out to the Table Rock Rangers match in White City and do some filming with it. There are a few different ways you can film with the app. Like I said, you can choose any combination of two of the four cameras. And then you can choose to either film it in split screen or picture in picture, or the mode I like best, discrete. So it's filming us while it's filming Matt. Mm. Simultaneously, right? So look, you can stop it. And of course, with those options, you can choose which camera is in which position. For my purposes, discrete seemed like the best option because this records video from the two cameras on two separate tracks. Whereas all the other methods of recording merge the two tracks together. And without getting too technical here, having two separate tracks that start and end at the same time are really easy to sync. And as I said earlier, this saves me time in the editing room. So let's take a look at some of the different methods of recording with double take and discuss the pros and cons of each. You know, Jed, this bad dog Matt's a real Cinderella story. Yeah? Yep, yep, he was uh, forced to work, set up the whole match just like, true. just like, uh, but we, we compensate him at the same rate we get paid. Well, he does get paid the same as us. However, we do all the supervising and he does all the work. That's true. And, uh, you know, it's uh, once in a while he has a really hot stage. And then sometimes he misses, uh, what? Three or four in a Three row. Three or four in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's hope he's just hot right out of the gate. We get something good for Jedi TV. Yeah, let's hope uh, this Cinderella is going to the ball and uh, not to clean the floors. So uh, let's see what he does. All right. Surrender, right? Yep. All right, let's give it a go. Stand by. All right, let's see what the spotters saw. Yes, we had one. Well, we got 1741. Yeah. You know, it would have been a really hot stage if he wouldn't have missed that rifle round. That one little miss. And you know, I, I feel, I just feel like he could have ran more on that stage. I think so. He was, uh, he probably could have dropped he it. He just sort 16. of walked from gun to gun. And I do think, you know, if he would have ran more. It would have been in the 16s. Yeah, he could have put a little more into it. But uh, not too bad for a first stage. All right, Matt, what do you think? Had worse. Definitely yeah, you had definitely worse. had worse. <laughs> and truth be told, you probably still get me with the one miss. We'll see. Only time will tell. So right off the bat, you can see the problem, or rather hear the problem with how this app records. And you might recall we had a similar problem when the DJI Osmo Pocket first came out, where the audio was compressed. So I'm hoping that in future updates, this problem is fixed because as you can see, it is a rather fun way to record. Now let's take a look at some of the other modes and see if things improve. This time we'll have purgatory film in the split screen mode while I shoot stage two. Oh, hello everyone out there in Jedi TV. Next is Jedi himself. You ready, Matt? Let's do it. Oh, look at that swagger down here, folks. 
He's just kind of leaving that rifle willy-nilly right now because he's coming back for it. He's got that shotgun set up perfect. Look at that. Does that look sass legal? Oh, it does. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's go down here where Jedi's starting. Hey, Jed. Um, anything to say to your viewers in Jedi TV land? Everybody blow. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I get let's a breeze. Get a good fan going here. All right. Let's see what okay. Jedi can do. Matt, I'm ready when you are. Stand by. Up. Yeah, load. Look at this reload. Watch this. Oh, oh, that's real black powder, folks. None of that stuff here. Look at those guns blazing. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the gunfighter curse right there. Right. What was his time? Three zero two five. Holy moly! Did you go to coffee, Jed? Oh, he's not happy about that, folks. Jed, what do you think about that uh, slip hammer? That slip hammer was horrible. Yeah. And then it looked pretty oh, painful. Look, dude. I have a, I have a gun boy. Gun boy. Thank gun you, boy. gun boy. So. Well, that looks clear. Between the slip hammer. And the fumble of the shotgun. Oh, you did that too. That sucked. That Your was not my fastest was, stage. I got that reload on film too. You're going to get some Snickers on that one. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. We'll get Perg on the next stage. Next is the picture in picture mode. Now, these clips are embedded, so there isn't the ability to slide the narrator off the screen like there was in the discrete mode. All right, let's do it. No? Stand by. Uh, he's going to have a miss or something. Uh, I don't think so. You mark it set. Go. A two-two? A two-two. <laughs> that was a nice run, Fergie. All right, y'all. Give Perg a big thumbs up for that run. That was a great run, a two-two. We'll see uh, Royal Flush on the next day. Now, while I was filming at the range, I wasn't aware of the issue with the sound quality. So I continued to record different shooters on each stage. This time, we'll see Royal Flush shooting stage four well, Purgatory and I offer our, uh, well, our words of wisdom that you may or may not be able to hear. Whoa! So, hey, Jed! Hey, everybody in Jedi TV land. So I, it's Royal Flush! I kind of threw Flush a curve on this one by making it so that you had to use, you could use two positions, uh -huh. but only the revolvers can be shot from that oh, center that, table. Oh, he's not going to like that. Right. Hey, look what you did. Oh, sorry, Biffer. I shot Biffer. So we're going to see how he handles it. Now, interestingly enough, mm -hmm. you shot you shot your rifle and shotgun from the shotgun position. He's going to do it. You can see. Oh, yeah. He's way over yeah. there. That actually went really well, Perk. Yeah, it did go pretty well for him. Yeah. Let's go see what he thought of that. Angle. Let's go talk to him and see what he thinks. All right, Flush. Hey, Flush. Yo. What'd you think? What'd you think about that? Yeah, except for the shotgun miss, it would have been really good. Yeah. And you... I was taking my time. Yeah. I thought I was. Was on that it. shotgun angle okay, though? Yeah. I mean, it should have been. You hit it, but it was on hit it on the yeah. right side. I mean, that's the chance you take when you do an angle like that. Right. Do, do, hey, yeah. hey, do you have anything to say to the viewers in Jedi TV land? Hi, Jedi TV land viewers. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on the last stage, we've got Biffer Jones. Biffer Jones? Holy smokes. And while he's getting ready to shoot the stage, 
I'll leave you with my final thoughts on Filmic's free double take app. It does what it says it will in that it, it allows shooting from multiple cameras simultaneously. However, for my purposes, it has one major flaw, the inability to control how sound is recorded. But given Filmic's reputation, I have high hopes that they will fix that issue in an update. Now, y'all let me know how you would use an app like this down in the comment section below. Stay on camera with me here, Per. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, hello, everyone out there in Jedi TV land. We have Biffer. He's going to love this stage because he doesn't have to move. We should slide around this way. We should go this way a little bit. There go. Look at him go. Look at him. Pretty good for Biffer. Hey, Biffer, what'd you think about that stage? It's all right. At least I didn't get shot this time. All right. Let's uh, let's give Biffer a big thumbs up, you guys. Make sure to hit that like button for him and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe so you see more fast Biffer Jones action here on Jedi TV. Also, it's important to hit that bell so that you get notifications. That's right. Hit that notification bell. Well, that looks clear, Biff. Clear. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching this episode of Jedi TV. I'm Jedi Knight. I'm Purgatory Smith. And we'll see you... In some other place. In some other time. Right, Biffer? Yes, you will. <laughs> um, so we're supervising him. Hey, Matt, can you... No. No. No, Matt. A little to the left. A little to the left, Matt. Matt, right, a little deeper with that. <clears throat> Matt, can you can you give us a thumbs up? Matt, we'd like a thumbs up right now. Matt. Does this count as a thumb? <laughs> yep, that'll yeah, work. Yeah, sure, that'll work. <laughs> I got this new app that allows me to film oh, using hey. both cameras at the Look same at time. That is cool. So, so now I can use I can film using the forward-facing camera and the rear-facing camera at the same time. That's uh, pretty slick. It is pretty slick. So I, I don't have to do anything in post to edit it. Oh, so okay. So it's really cool. It, the only problem with that is you're in every shot. What? I don't understand the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is, after all, Jedi TV. <laughs> you guys are still here? Everybody's gone. Go home. <laughs>